Here with Coach Nims after the Lady Demons picked up the uh, exciting, thrilling, uh, stressful 68-64 win uh, at uh, Nichols. Uh, Coach, plenty of things to talk about. I want to first get your thoughts. There were so many key moments, key plays, key shots uh, down the stretch in those last few minutes. But talk to me first about the play that, uh, that Jay Todd made uh, with the offensive rebound to put back the foul, the free throw that – and in a lot of ways, started the 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 trend of, of getting us to win and put us up by three at that point. But uh, that was, that was one, one of the big plays in that final final stretch. It really was. And, you know, there's been a couple opportunities early in the game where she had a good look at the rim and, and passed it back out. So we were excited that quite literally when it mattered the most, she was able to spin off her defender, finish at the rim, and then knock down the free throw. So just a tremendous job by her. Can you even put into words the the amount of times where – it was a pull-up shot from from Giselle or Mo in the lane or, or CP driving and scoring, drawing a foul in the second half. Just the amount of time, the grit and the fight that this team showed down the stretch. Yeah, and I think to get all those different looks, they had to play more together, and I thought they did that tonight. Uh, they were able to play through one another and made, make the extra pass. There's a handful of possessions that, you know, we may we maybe didn't knock it down, but it went inside out, made a, you know, made a skip pass and to get one as they closed out, make an extra pass, and it was just good basketball. And it was good to see that uh, come back. Uh, one of our game keys was just overall togetherness. I didn't think we did that against SLU, and I thought that they played for four quarters together from, from every single person on the bench to every girl on the court. So um, really excited about the team, collective team effort, and obviously, yes, all the girls that were able to, to knock down those shots, um, but just as much some of the girls that passed up those shots to, to make the extra pass. And I think that was something you could see early on in the game as well. I mean, I'm sure that was a, a big emphasis from Saturday's game. To, and you've talked about it several times since then, to play through each other, play side to side, get the passes. And, you know, it seemed like those, I mean, it started early in the game. So you had to come in when you saw that, feel like, okay, they, they heard something over they this did. week. They did. They got better to this week. And, um, you know, we definitely faced some adversity after that game and, and just this the course of the week. But... Um, again, they played 40 minutes together um, from everybody on the bench to everybody on the court, like I said. And so it was exceeding, excited to see them play that basketball that we had kind of seen in, back in November. Um, you know, so one on one in conference, they gave NSU their first first road win uh, for, for conference road win, at least in, in my tenure here. So um, just very thankful and proud of them. How do you think those games that we played at, at uh, Arkansas State, at, at ULM, those those close games, the, the the Mississippi Valley game, how do you think that, I mean, it had to have helped tonight as well. It does. I mean, it gives them confidence. They've been in the situation. They came out on top. They know as long as they continue to fight, rally around each other, pull together, you know, pull them together during dead ball situations or free throw, as long as they're willing to do that, um, that they got a chance to win the game. And, and they did that, you know, in those non-conference games. So I think them having already won that, gives them confidence anytime they step on the court or anytime it gets close. Are you going to make CP make some more free throws? She missed three tonight. That's I mean, unacceptable, come on. right? <laughs> well, I told her I tried to give her credit here in the locker room, and I said, you know, and there's a reason she's fifth in the nation. And I said, 11 for 15. And as I went to clap, she rolled her eyes and was mad at herself. So, um, but that's just, that's good. You know, Jordan Todd, just taking big plays. Jazz coming down with huge rebounds, taking one on the chin. You know, just across the board, every girl that played and every girl that didn't play. Uh, that was, in my opinion, that was actually our best basketball game as far as bench involvement, um, court awareness, uh, and I thought they made the changes from last game to this game. So that's, and that's really good improvement for us. All right. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you. Borkham.